Jersey crews are working to rescue a man who's been stuck in a hole near Sunset Cliffs. They've been there since yesterday afternoon. We've learned the man has been there for a few days. The fire department says the weather overnight has made it tough and dangerous for everyone. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes joins us live from Ocean Beach. Nate, the crews were able to make some progress, though, overnight. How close are they to getting that man out? Well, Jared, this rescue is still ongoing. It's going to take several more hours, but yes, they d were able to make some progress, and we're told the man is about 10 to 15 uh, feet deep in the hole, but overnight, they were able to at least move him up a foot. So yes, that is some progress. Still a long way to go, but they are have been working for hours in order to try to get him out. Now, we are here on the steps to down to the cliff. The battalion chief told us it was safe for us to be here. As we show you kind of what they are dealing with this morning, you can see some team members over over there responding and talking with the man. Uh, now the battalion chief tells me that they are quote methodically tackling this rescue. We're told the technical rescue team from San Bernardino is actually now here uh, to help with the rescue. They specialize in cliff and cave rescues and they are actually briefing with teams at the moment. But you can see there they are still the man is still responding and they are still working to try to get him out. Let's get a look at some video from when our cameras arrived at the scene yesterday. San Diego Fire and rescue say they responded around 4 p.m. Thursday. Uh, just to give you a perspective of where we are, this is at Cable Street and Orchard Avenue in Ocean Beach. Now, the man tells firefighters that he has been down there for three days calling for help, and it wasn't until yesterday that someone heard those cries and called 911. Now, we're told the man's leg and lower half of his body is stuck in the hole. Uh, crews were able to dig from the bottom in order to free him a little bit, uh, but the high tide rolled in, so crews will need to wait until the water water recedes in order to continue with that specific method. But in the meantime, crews have been giving the man water and food. They even have a heater down there kind of pushing some warm air inside the hole in order to keep him warm. But back out here live, you can see those crew members out here speaking with him. And of course, uh, again, several more hours until we expect this rescue to be done. But we will be standing by until he is free. Live here in Ocean Beach, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.